everybody, this is Chad with round two. So we've got our September 2020 product spotlight video uh, coming for you guys. So a lot of really, really cool stuff this month. We're gonna show you guys new 118 scale cars. We've got five new 118 scale cars coming out in Auto World. We've got new 164th releases for both Auto World with new tools in it and Johnny Lightning, as well as some Johnny Lightning 164 straight packs. We also have nine model kits to show you guys that we're gonna run through. A lot of really cool stuff in there, some import stuff, some muscle car stuff, some uh, pop culture stuff that's really neat. And then for slot cars, we have a new slot car set and a new slot car release coming out. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with 164th. All right, so first off with 164th, we've got a new release for Auto World Premium. So this is a six car release, two colors in each one. It's a little bit different than the normal Auto World releases because this is a Hemmings release. So every one of these cars in the version A is based off a cover car from one of, a, uh, one of the Hemmings uh, editions of their magazines. Second is a different color variation that we chose for each car. So first car here is the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado in Grecian white with the black vinyl top on it. And the second variation here is in that great looking light blue color here, Venetian blue with a black top on that one as well. Second in the release, the 1979 Chevy C10 Scottsdale Fleet Side. First version here is in light blue. And the second version in this great looking red, black, and yellow striping variation here for version B. Third in the release, this is the brand new tool for us, the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. So first version here, you can see off of the Hemmings Muscle Machine, Hemi Heritage then and now. See all those great looking Hellcat features on it. It's got the black stripes, of course the plum crazy purple paint to start with, and those great looking wheels and tires. Second variation here is in silver. We got those black, the uh, black details on that one as well. Second is off the same, uh, the same Hemmings Muscle Machine cover, the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. First version here in green with the black vinyl top. Great looking wheels on that one and second version in white. Got the white letter tires and some other really nice details on that one too. Second, the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. First variation here in red with the black vinyl top on that. You can see it from the Muscle Machines Stock Shootout 2015. And the second variation here is in cream. It's got a black vinyl top on that one as well. Then last in the release, the 1971 Ford Mustang Boss 351. First variation from Hemmings Motor News here. This great looking yellow color. You've got the black hood, the black striping, and all the cool details on that. The second variation here is in green, dark green poly with silver on there and all the uh, silver striping to go along with the, the Boss 351. That's everything for Auto World. We also have a release for Johnny Lightning, a new classic gold release, same thing. Six cars in this, two variations of each. First one for version A, the 1963 Studebaker Avanti Supercharged. It's great looking teal green color with the tan interior. And the second variation is in this awesome looking orange with the uh, detailed interior on that one as well for version B. Second in the release, the 1970 Olds Cutlass 442 Convertible. You can see the first one here in aqua pearl with that great looking white stripes and the white interior on that one as well. And the second version in matador red with white stripes on that and white interior on that one too. Next, the 1965 Chevy Corvette hardtop. First variation here, tuxedo black, super classy looking. Got that red interior on it. And the second variation in mist blue. Again, with the detailed interior in there, you can see the tan color in it and uh, yellow striping on the tires. Next, the 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. First variation here in white. Got the, the uh, trim striping down the side of it. Of course, the SS details, white letter tires and tan interior. Second variation is in black with gold SS detailing along it and white letter tires on that one also. For fifth, we got the 1964 Dodge 330. You can see the first variation here in light blue. Got those two different tire designs. Got that really cool custom hood on it. The second is the Dick Landy Automotive Research car. Here it is in silver and has the Dick Landy Automotive Research on the side of it there. All those cool details. And lastly, the 1950 Chevy 3100 pickup. First variation here in this great looking orange color. It's got white wall tires on it. You can see those details in the bed for the uh, 
all the wood grain and the second is blue it's got the white fenders on it white details and the white wheels on that one as well and lastly for Johnny Lightning we do have three new straight pack cars so these are part of the new Cadillacs that we've been bringing out so first one here you can see the 1959 Cadillac hearse so this is another variation of what used to be our Ecto-1 casting so here it is in silver super classy looking hearse with that big vinyl top on it another hobby exclusive we did was the 1959 Cadillac ambulance there you can see it in red and white with all those cool ambulance details on that one as well and lastly the 1968 Cadillac ambulance here in light blue all the ambulance things on it's got the curtains on the side the white top and all that great stuff so that's everything we've got for 164th I will show you guys 118 so first off in 118 we're starting with the 1963 Chevy Corvette coupe for Auto World this is the split window and this particular one is in saddle tan it's got uh, tan and brown interior to match it's got the 327 engine in it and all the details underneath the opening hood to check it out just a great looking car, super cool details on it. Of course, that really famous split window look. And another one that should be super, super cool to collect. Got the white line tires and everything else too, so really excited about that one. Also, this month, the 1970 Shelby GT500. So what's really neat about this one, uh, we've got it here in Wimbledon white with blue Shelby striping on it. And this being a 1970 car, there wasn't really many 1970 GT500s. They were actually all revend 1969s. They were given a different chin spoiler and a black hood treatment. And the FBI actually helped to revend the 1970s, so there's not a ton of them like this. Another really neat one to bring out, and one we're excited, uh, excited to show you guys, do something a little bit different. Next up, the 1970 Dodge Charger RTSE, class of 1970 car. So... Some really neat things about this one. It's in that great looking panther pink color. We've got that white vinyl top on it. You've got the white striping on it, as well as that really cool black treatment on the hood with the 440 details on that. Of course, it has the 440 engine uh, in the hood as well. And the great looking black interior in it. And also for 118, lastly with, for the cars, the 1969 and a half Plymouth Roadrunner. So this is part of our Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals cars. Uh, there was not many 1969 and a half, so only about 1,400 of them that were made. So this is based on a car that was at the show and was part of the A12 reunion. So some of the cool stuff that comes with this. You get an A12 uh, reunion banner that's tucked back there to display it with and some wheel covers on it as well. And being part of the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, you can see the actual car here. Bruce Barty's car. There it is in that all-black detail. Those black steely style wheels and those... Uh, those red line tires on it of course with the fiberglass uh, lift off hood and all those really neat uh, details that come on it as well and lastly for 118 we have the next variation for our four wheel enclosed trailer so this one is in white you can fit any of your 118 cars in here up to 10 inches long got the silver details on the top silver details along the uh, bottom there also got the chrome wheels on it and it has uh, some pretty cool things it does open up so you can put the cars inside or have them kind of half pulling out or however you guys want to display it you got a stationary trailer jack with a hitch in it and a high gloss paint and the cool little side door that comes with it as well so another one we're uh, excited to bring out for you guys that's everything for 118 next we're going to show you all the models all right so first off in model kits we're going to start with automotive first one here is the jolly green gasser so this is the 1965 ford galaxy uh, what's really neat about this kit, you can build it in one of three ways. It's a three-in-one, stock, racing, or custom. It's got a lot of different options that come with it, including pad printed tires. This, this is actually molded in a jolly green color, and we have expanded the decal sheet on this one as well. Of course, it has that really great looking box art on the outside of it. You can kind of get a look at some of the details here. You can see what the stock one looks like here. Some of those really neat custom details on it, that front end really cool wheels and here's kind of another look at some of those options detailed trunk interior detailed front end you've got all the all the cool engine stuff the dual quad manifold uh two four barrel carbs the different style wheels racing wheels all kinds of stuff that comes with this kit and there's a look at the parts tree on the back of that one so in a similar vein we also have the amt 64 plymouth belvedere two-door hardtop so what's neat about this, this is a stock uh, Belvedere kit, but it does come with two 
complete engines. You can build it with the Slant 6 or the V8 engine, uh, either way you want to do it. So also some of the neat features about this, you can see a look at what it looks like stock here. It does have an opening hood, which is really cool. Got a detailed chassis and suspension, comes with chrome parts, uh, Goodyear vinyl tires, detailed interior, and a lot of really neat stuff there. There's a look at some of those decals and those two different engines, the Slant 6 and the 426 V8. And there's those flame decals on the side. And a look at the parts tree on the back of that one. Also in model kits, we've got the 34 Slammer Modified. So this is a super cool one coming uh, uh, coming with our other Modifieds here. So some of the neat things that come with this, you've got the racing interior in it, you've got the bucket seat, you've got a detailed 428 engine that comes with this, tubular racing chassis, headers, wide pad printed vinyl tires on it, and a lot of other really neat features there. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back of that. Also, we've got, we showed you last month the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse coming out. We said we were going to have some more along that same vein. Here is the 1995 Toyota Supra Mark IV. So, some of the really awesome features about this one. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of really cool stuff you can do. It's got new decals in it. Uh, you've got, you can see the, the look at all the uh, colorful details and all that vintage early 2000s style tuner look to it. So a lot of really awesome things come with this kit. It's got the removable roof, optional racing seats, a twin turbo VVTi engine, rear spoiler, roll bar. So a lot of custom stuff you can do that come with the kit. If you want to get some other stuff, maybe you can order some overnight parts from Japan for this one and really build it up how you want to. There's a look at the parts tree for that one as well. And of course it does come with that 2JZ VVTi engine made to go against cars like the Skyline GTR and some of the others along the 90s. So. We'll go from one Godzilla killer to another. We've got the Rodan kit. This is a really cool kit. It's an easy snap together kit. It's about 11 inches tall. So really easy to put together and then you can get crazy with the painting and detailing and make it look really nice. There's a look at a built up one there. Only 30 parts on this one. Got a posable neck and detailed base that it comes with with all the crushed buildings and just a great accessory kit to go with the other Godzilla kits that we've been putting out lately. Also, we've got a couple kits, a couple of bike kits for you guys. So in the line of our Schwinn kits, the MPC Schwinn Continental 10-speed racer. So some of the really neat things about this, it's molded in red, comes with a lot of different accessory parts. It's got a, uh, some cables and a pouch that come with it that's in vinyl, uh, authentic decals that come with it. You can get a look at some of these parts here. Child seat, mirror, headlight, air pump, tool bag, thermal bottle, just a lot of really cool stuff that comes along with this kit. And there's a look at the parts tree on the back of that one. And similar to that, moving on to the other cycles, a little bit different. Next in the line of trick trikes, number four of six, this is the Milk Trike MPC. So this kit is brought back by popular demand. A lot of you guys have been loving these kits coming back out. Uh, it comes with a customizing decal sheet. It's got clear parts molded in three different colors. You can get a look at some of those pop some of those uh, parts here, like the pop machine top, pre-decorated drag slicks, injector stacks, chrome valve covers, customized 327 engine, and there's a look at the parts tree that comes with that one. And we do have two other really big truck kits coming for you guys as well. So first off, the International Pay Hauler. 350 construction truck. So this one is actually out currently. Uh, we just had the opportunity to put it in the video now. So this one is currently available. This is a huge kit, over 425 pieces. It's in 125th scale. This thing measures over 14 inches long when you build it up, molded in three different colors and comes with a bonus one-to-one uh, -one spec sheet for it as well. You can get a look at some of all these great details in it. Goodyear tires on it, removable body panels, hinge cab doors, driver's seat just on and on and on with all the really cool details that you can do with this kit so one that'll build up really big really nice look at that parts tree all those 425 parts so you guys will have a lot of time to be able to put this one together and we're really excited to see you do it and then lastly we've got one more for you guys the american la france ladder chief so this one another really big kit over 300 parts in this fire truck kit 
It's got uh, authentically detailed fire department detail, uh, decals that it comes with. Kept the vintage style packaging art on it as well. You can do a lot of pretty neat stuff with this kit. You can get a look at some of these parts here. More than 100 parts that are chrome plated on this. It's got ground ladders, nesting area, authentic siren and bell and horns and flasher lights and all this other stuff that comes with. Uh, about 16 inches long when it's fully built up. And a look at that big old parts tree on the back of that one. So that's everything we have for models this month. Lastly, we're going to show you guys slot cars. So first off for slot cars, we've got a Thunderjet release for you guys. These four cars in this release, we did two colors uh, each for this one. Firstly, we've got the 1962 Chevy Bel Air on the Thunderjet chassis. First version here, in this great looking seafoam green color. Really nice details on that. You got the silver uh, details around the outside, bumpers. And the second variation here is in silver. Another great looking car for that one. Second in the release, the first variation here is the Dick Landy 1964 Dodge 330. Now that is actually the same as we did in the Johnny Lightning uh, release that you guys just saw. So the automotive test car, you can get it in both types. And there's a second variation here in a great looking light green color on that one as well. Next, for the first uh, variation for this, we have the Nikki 1968 Chevy Camaro. So it's in that great pale yellow color, got a black vinyl top, and of course the Nikki logo's on the side of it. And the second variation is in this great looking black color here, uh, black vinyl top on it, and white, uh, got those white uh, details on the, uh, on the front end. Just a really cool looking one there. And lastly, the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS, first variation is in yellow. It's got the white SS striping on the top there. And the second variation is in green. You've got the black vinyl top on that and black stripes that go with that one as well. And also for slot cars, we have another big set for you guys. This is our next drag set. So our drag sets have been doing really well. If you guys remember the Snake and Mongoose set that came out earlier, this is the Sox and Martin versus Dandy Dick Landy set. So this is a 13 foot uh, drag set. It's got electronic start and end gate with it. Comes with two variable speed controllers, and you got the two cars here the Sox and Martin Plymouth Cuda that you can see in the great looking Sox and Martin white, red, and blue, and all those details on the side. And the Dick Landy car is the Dodge Challenger in silver with the blue and red details on the side of that. So, some of the really neat stuff about this obviously, those electronic start gates are super fun if you guys have never uh, worked on them. We put some videos up showing the slot cars and how they work. You can see some of the other things that we've done. Uh, these other slot car sets, you can get track accessories if you want to build your set longer and uh, pit kits and all that other kind of stuff to just really keep them going. It's a lot of fun to do these drag racing kits, so we're really excited to bring these out and we'll have some more coming along for you guys, some other uh, track sets and kits and stuff like that coming. So that is everything that we have got for the month of September. There was a lot of stuff this month. Thank you guys for watching the video, hanging around. And we've got our Facebook pages. I'll put those down below. If you guys want to see what else we've got, you can go to round2corp.com. You can check out our Instagram pages. We're posting stuff all over the place. Again, thank you guys for watching it. We'll see you in October.